This ain't the right time. Hold on. <sighs> this has the wrong time. So I checked the time. It's at eight. I was like, <laughs> all right. Hi, everyone. Um. Hey, Kelly. Did you get a, a notification? I hope so. How you doing on the Seven of Diamonds Day? I hope you tapped into spirit today. Hey, boo. Cousin. Let me type my um my pen in. Como estas? Okay, good. Yeah, you definitely want to tap into source today. I mean, it's Sunday, you know, but not only that, it's a Seven of Diamonds day. I'm going to tell you about that in a minute. I'm really happy to see y'all. Like, every time I come here, this is my, all right, this is therapy for me, believe it or not. So, I I wouldn't mind a therapist. I don't have one. A me I, I don't know why Graham be acting like that with me. Ow, shit. And our star of the show try, is trying to get on me. You can come. Let me. All right, Mars want to say hi. I have to hold him like that so he respects me. So Mars wants to say hi. Um, okay. Ooh. Yeah, that's why I got this. He picked this outfit out. No, he just picked the top. So, he was in my closet for some reason. He wasn't supposed to be up in there. Uh, I guess I accidentally left it open. And then he tried to come out the closet, but then he went back in. And I was like, that's not like him. Usually when I come in the, in the room, he comes. So, I was like, why are you acting like that? He kept, he kept. <laughs> and I was like, let me go see him. Why, why, he was, why his paw was wrapped around these strings? Like, hard. Like, he could not get out. And then um, I released him. And that was yesterday. Today, I put this, these two on. And then I re realized, like, oh, yeah, that shit he was on, um, that that jacket thing he was playing with. So he definitely um, inspired this, and I needed it because I'm cold. Um, oh, yeah, he's on his bullshit. But anyway, hi, everybody. Welcome to Sunday School. It's your girl, Flora, with the one I'm here to read you your aura. So I have some tea. First of all, I want to open the class with the Oath of Manifestation. I don't like what you want on my table, baby. So I want to open this. Do me a favor. Oh, hi, Jackie. Do me a favor. And everybody, I would like for you to open your hands. Because, you know, when you pray or when you, um, whatever you believe in, um, this is the wrong way to do it. Just like blowing out your candles on a birthday cake. That's the wrong way to do it. How are you going to make a wish and blow it, blow your intentions away? So, somebody give you a birthday cake next time. You going, you going, you, they want, you want to take a metal spoon and, and tap it or something. You want to do something. You want your dreams to manifest. But anyway, um, shit, I always deviate. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oath of Manifestation. So, I want to open this with the Oath of Manifestation. I want you to open your hands. Because you want to be open to receiving. Because if you're close to... That's like going up to a person. Closed mouths don't get fed. That's what this is kind of teaching you when you do this, right? So you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So anyway, um, open your hands. I am going to say the oath of manifestation out loud and proud for us. Bring good vibes in. Da, 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 da. I like looking at the one I always look at. Okay, y'all. <clears throat> Even me, I'm opening my hand. Shoot. You see that? All right. Oath of manifestation. I accept and receive unexpected good, unexpected money, unexpected love, unexpected kindness, unexpected generosity, unexpected offers, unexpected prosperity coming in unexpected ways, 
from unexpected places in my life and the life of others. I am constantly guided and boldly empowered to receive the lavish abundance of the universe. I accept the principle that abundance and spro- Ugh, sorry. I accept the principle that abundance and prosperity has already been given to me. My acceptance makes it real and opens the space for manifestation to rush in. I open wide the doors of my consciousness to receive and to give. It is done now. Through this oath of manifestation... Whoa. Sorry, I just got a text. Anyway, through this oath of manifestation, all things are possible. I declare absolutely that I live in a friendly universe that is always providing for me. I feel it powerfully happening now. I open to receive more abundance and to give more abundance than I have ever experienced before. I can afford anything I desire. In fact, I am so prosperous, I need never to worry again. I'm grateful for all that I already have and grateful for all I'm ready to give. I keep myself lifted in high consciousness, no matter what the appearances are. God is all there is, and I let the God times roll, and so it is. Ashe, where's my bell? All right, just want to do that, you know create the vibe all right y'all so boop, boop, boop. we are going into astro talk we are finally in libra season okay what does libra season uh represent balance balancing the scales harmony justice the justice system corporate corporation cooperation sorry and karma okay now this is my tip for the libra season if a Libra son wants to hang out with you or give you advice, take it during their season. Why? Because the sun is shining a light on them. In turn, they're kind of ricocheting that light and putting it on you. So take that. If there's a Libra friend you know of, you haven't spoke to in a long time, you should holler. Speaking of friends, um... Let me, let me, speaking of friends, only because I'm here, because I'm real organized when it comes to the show. But Mario, say we just a friend, um, has been repeating like the past three hours. And one of y'all friends like you. Neither here or there. I'll get back to that. So Moon and Capricorn, woo woo. Happy Luna return to me. I'm a Moon and Capricorn. So Moon and Capricorn is, there is a serious tone in the air. This is all business, no time for emotional energy. So if you are in your bag, if you are in your feelings, this is not your day. This is not your day. Um, I suggest that you channel your emotions into spirituality or creativity. Okay. Uh, Libra is here. Libra is creativity. Libra is Venusian, okay? Also, um, you can also, if you're emotional and that's that's your natural element, like, you know, be honest, it's okay. Uh, get into your beauty. The sun is in Libra. So put a mask on, do your hair. Like, this is this moon energy for the next two and a half days. This is the energy for the bosses. I'm the biggest boss that you've seen just far. It's for the bosses, okay? The bosses that eat pears. Um, okay, um, I'm playing too much. But um, it's boss energy right now. So get on your shit. You, have, you own a business? Do you want to own a business? Get on your shit. Mercury is no longer in retrograde. I hate when they say that. You got to count post. So for example, Mercury is a big ass planet. This ain't no car. But let's use a car as an example. When a car is about, let's say a car is moving forward. That car can't go backwards after moving forward. It kind of has to slow down. It kind of has to stop. And then it has to go backwards. The same thing with the planet. So right now it stopped moving backwards. Yes, but it has to go forward now. And in that motion, it is still weird. So don't think, oh my God, I could do this. I could do that. I could do this. It's more easier for you to do what you want to do. Sign contracts, uh, form partnerships, travel. It's easier right now, but doesn't mean that you won't have your glitches and your delays because it's not fully ahead. So nobody's going to tell you this. Only the real ones know. They, they will promote it online like today is over. I My ruling planet is Mercury. Okay, that is my planet. I'm here to tell you that it's a lie. 
But you see, I have more or less hiccups today. It's better, but doesn't mean that it, it won't happen. Mm -hmm. I now. Oh no, he done. He done. He done. What are you doing? Mars done. I, I created this house thing. Hey, Lena. I created this house thing for him. And, um, hey, Rhea. And he done knocked the house thing over. You know, I'm, I I don't know who I think I am at times. My mom was like, you want these um, cardboard boxes? Because I always put things in them. Like, like my, my herbs, my, you know, I always store things. So I was like, yeah, I'm going I'm to use it. So I, I sat there and made like this cat fun house for it, for him. And he just knocked it down. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> anyway so mercury in virgo speaking of mercury mercury is home this is the time that you will think clearer okay because mercury is home now this remedies the post shadow retrograde that's happening this remedies it because at least mercury is home that's like you getting home how you feel when you okay um soon as i get home by soon as i get home help me out help me out i may get up faith evans yep somebody gotta have faith somebody name is evan soon as i get home all right so um soon as i get home right so when you get home after a long day of work thank you after a long day of work, you feel mad good when you get home, right? I know you do. And that's how Mercury feels. So Mercury feels very comfortable giving us the intellect that we need to get shit done. The short, if you've taken any short, hey, professional, hey, y'all. If you've taken any short distance travel, it's better. Like, you can, you can do that. Short distance travel, you can do that. Uh, if you are traveling, give yourself a little extra time. Like, don't, don't do the... Oh, well, they start boarding passes an hour before, so I'm going to get there an hour and a half. No! We are not in an alignment for you to think you slick. You can't be slicker than, than slick. Slick is slick, all right? So Venus and Libra, mm -hmm. with the sun here too. Mm -hmm. Those of you in relationships, this is a very beautiful time for you. Those who are in relationships. Single people, this is my suggestion. What signs is after uh, Libra? We got Scorpio. <laughs> we got Scorpio. After Scorpio is Sag. After Sag is uh, Cap. And then the year starts, right? So we got three signs. That is not in the most lovey-dovey or... Now, I'm not going to say lovey-dovey. I'm sorry. Venus gives us the pleasures in life that we're seeking. Venus. We we'll always remember that. So when you find out where your Venus is, that tells you what's, how you express the pleasures in life. What, what's, what's your pleasures in life? You get it? How you love, because Venus is love, uh, money, creativity. <laughs> exactly. Uh, love, money, creativity. So when you have Venus in Libra, it's home. Remember I told you about that home shit. You want, you want a planet to be home. It feels comfortable expressing its fullest energy, right? So Venus, we got three signs that is in, it's, it's, it's giving, it's giving Scorpio season, season gives, um, lay low. We lay low. Sad season is giving, we learning. We might be traveling. Holiday travel. Yeah, travel. Because Sagittarius is travel. And then Capricorn is, we wrapping things up and we getting down to business. The year is about to wrap up. Boom. This energy is going to be the last. All right. Take me with a grain of salt. Uh, Libra season. This is the last of that feel good energy. Uh, before we get like to the darker times of the year. You know what I mean? It's it, Libra season feels like it was just summer. You feel that summer. Don't it feel like, damn, it got cold mad fast. Like, no, it didn't. <laughs> it, te it technically did it like this is it it should have been cold like god was like nah we 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 gonna have you feeling like you could go outside in september in a dress but we 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 since when no we're not so 
I feel like Venus, I mean, sorry, I feel like Libra is giving us that energy to still feel like it's low-key summer. You know, like events, like, yeah, because holiday parties don't feel like summer. You get it? So this is that energy where you still want to go out to restaurants because you could wear a sweater dress with some boots and it's cute. You might, could, you could keep the jacket in the car maybe. You know what I mean? So get get your social shit out there is what I'm trying to say. Like, go out, do shit. Go out to eat. Libra, Venus, go out to eat. You enjoy that. Also, um, if you're in the beauty industry, this is this is a popping time because Venus rules beauty. Okay, if you want to get into the beauty industry, this is a popping time. You want to make skincare, you want to make lotions. You think of Venusian, think of Taurus energy, think of Libra, flowers. You want to get into flowers, like think of that type of energy. So Venus and Libra, I want you to. Um, hold on. Oh, looking at the wrong part. All right. Sorry. Wrote my notes down. Venus, the planet of love, money, creativity, pleasures of life is giving us the sweet things in life right now. Venus wants to balance our checkbooks and love situations and relationships. There's karma in the air. There's a balance of karma in the air with this energy. There's a balance of karma in the air. You're going to start to see that people realize that they should have never did what they did to you. Oops. People are going to start realizing they should have never did what they did to you. Karma's here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to see in the cards. It's in the cards. Oh, let's invite Ocean Femi. That's my boo. I love her. Ocean Femi. We got to add Tia in the building. Where the fuck is Floor? Because she said she was coming. What? Girl. Okay. You. You. My bad, y'all. I'm late. I'm late. Ooh. Uh. My babies. Yeah, yeah. My babies got to be in the building. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My babies. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. She's always asking. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm telling you. All I tell you is the truth, Kelly. You know I come up on here for the past three years, every week, telling you the truth. And if it's not the truth for you, it's the truth for somebody. That new song she got is hot. You know that's not new, right? That song, she been had that song. Yeah. She had that song. I, I, knew, that's, I knew that song for more than a year now. For sure. For sure. Um, unless you're talking about it. Oh, okay, okay. You talking about the, oh, she got a new song. Yeah, you got to put me on because I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, You know, like, it ain't nothing to uh, share somebody. Oh, you know what? Thank you for, for saying that. Let's play her music because we won't get kicked off for it, okay? And as well, we want to support people, of course. It won't hurt us. I like this song. I'm hearing it in my head. All right, y'all. Are we getting popping yet? You, okay. Okay. Mars and Gemini, beware of arguments and gossip. There's action towards children more aggressive. So all these school shooters and shit, yeah, that's 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 wrapped up in this seventh month long transit. Hey, we got a newcomer in the building. Hey, Peppa. So and Peppa is here and we in effect ready to push it back. All right, sorry. Some things I can't control. <laughs> She said, you got hip-hop Tourette's. <laughs> While grandma said, you got hip-hop Tourette's. I love that. Uh, hip-hop Tourette's. Yo, dead ass. I cannot help myself. Anyway, so for those of you with children, I want... Oh, thank you. She said bullying is, all, is at an all-time high. Mars and Gemini. Gemini rules your neighborhood, children, uh, the the public school systems, like school in general learning. That's what Gemini rules. Because you got to look at a strategy like this, my friend. It is not just, I'm a Gemini. No, Gemini rules your fingers, your arms, your throat, children, the school system. Gemini is not just who you are. Get your head out of your own ass, man. It's not as goes. You are a snapshot of the day you were born. You are representing that day. Now, how you act, either on a high vibration or a low vibration, that is totally up to you. 
That's totally up to you. But when you don't have knowledge of self, you just willy-nilly, you just doing shit. Knowledge of self, people. That's what they don't want you to know. They don't want you to think for yourself. They don't want you to cut the news off. They don't want you to watch tarot videos. This is the new news. I'm telling you what's about to happen before it happened. The news, shit has to happen for you, for them to report. The word new is in news. So this is news. Me telling you some shit you don't know about yet. That's news. The news that they got right now, oh, we are going to, first of all, it's nothing new on what they report. They've been simmering on it and harping on it and planning on it and, and oh, reporters, we got to write this, we got to think it's just right then and there and if they do they how they know they be knowing shit before it happens but don't tell us they just make sure they're there before it happens certain shit like why the news here why the news here stay woke there is a uh algorithm war against the knowledge you supposed to know okay if I was a straight model, no spirituality, my numbers will be sky high. And me and Jamal was just talking about that. Jamal went from 30K to like 8,000. 30K? Because he stopped modeling and started kicking spiritual shit. Yes, baby. Come here, my big B. You like what I'm saying? Come here. I got you. Okay. Oh, I hate when you do that. Um. So anyway... Now, oh, also a lot of aggression and action towards the World Wide Web. I want you to use that effectively. You can use this energy to argue with people you don't know online or you can launch your business online. It's up to you. The choice is yours. You know what I mean? Hey, Mo. Yo. Yes. <laughs> Yo, uh, why I forgot to send you uh, the instructions. I'm sorry, boo. Um, I thought about you and I was like, if I see it, I got to write it down as I see it. So let me write that down. You sent me your email already. Send instructions to Monique. All right. Now, Jupiter and Aries, we are in a hiya. We about to start the uh the weekly. So buckle your seat belts and don't go nowhere. We are having a buy one get one on ancestor money. Remember that. Jupiter and Aries, we have a new Jupiter cycle. And to receive the blessings of Jupiter, because remember, Jupiter expands whatever it's around. But Jupiter can also expand on your laziness. It can expand on your, your lack of ability to comprehend a situation. It can expand anything, right? But normally, if you play your cards right, what's that song? What's that song? Shit. Play your cards right. Keisha Cole. That's crazy. Play your cards right. Yeah. Play your cards right. Always. Now, new Jupiter cycle. To receive the uh, blessings and expansion of Jupiter, you want to take on Jupiter. No, you want to take on Aries attributes. So, being an entrepreneur... Is um Aries attributes being into fitness is uh Aries attributes, uh being a leader is an Aries attribute, almost even being headstrong. Like this is the time with Jupiter here. Don't let nobody sway you on how you feel about a situation. I think that that it gives you blessings. For example, uh I got a homie lover friend right, and we've been homie lover friend for like fifteen years right. He he my he my sneaky link right. So I bumped into him at the fair and then we recently linked up again. Um, he knows me well. Like, you know, he's seen every side of me. Now, um, we were going downtown because he was take. I think, yeah, he was taking me out. So we was going downtown and then we would, what we was talking about. I forgot. We was, I was standing on how I felt. That's all I remember. I was just like, no. Oh, I was talking about like, my life and how I, I, I curated my life to be exactly how I am. You know what I mean? So when people are like, oh no, you got to get out of that. And yeah, listen, 
I have a job where I don't have to strain. My other straining for me is different. It's energetic. You know, I'll be weak and shit, but I'm not physically doing labor when I know I wasn't made for that. Do I look like I'm supposed to be doing physical labor? Like, look at me. Like, for real. The only physical labor I should be doing is something I'm interested in. Then it's fun. But when people try to put me in positions and jobs with physical labor and it's. I'm. That's not me. So I was letting him know, like. I'm not doing that. Like, I don't have a problem with somebody who does it. Y'all, y'all gotta, y'all gotta have discernment with what I say. I know me. That's why I'm here talking to y'all. Cause we talk about self mastery. This is this is what I'm trying to uh, get to you. We ain't talking about nothing else. Like everything that we do here is for self mastery, right? Uh, when we do the cards, we want to know what's ahead of us so we can master that situation because it's what our life. Instead of something us, something smacking us unknowingly, we got the heads up. Times can change. Things can change. You can change your own situation by knowing what's... Tarot's not uh, fixed. Cardiology is fixed. Tarot's not fixed. If I tell you, be careful, you might get into an accident, you're obviously going to change the reading. Hopefully. Because, oh, if I know I'm going to get into an accident, let me check my car before... Come on now. Let me check my car. Let, let me not. Why would you just let me talk and you don't do nothing about it? Come on now. So anyway, now we're going to. um. Oh, he's perfect. He's right where he should be. We're going to start the weekly. I can pick this up. So everybody, let me tell you my specials. My bad. Specials for tonight. We got to buy one, get one for uh ancestor money, which is $7.77. Now. Today is the seven of diamonds day. Seven people in here crazy. Um, today is the seven of diamonds day. The card of spiritual money that we have, here we have right now, especially on this day to take advantage of this day. This is the seven is God's number, right? There's seven days in a week. There's seven heaven. There's seven continents. Seven is God's number. He he rested on the seventh day, right? Okay. So when seven appears, that's why I come on at seven o'clock. It's God's time. That's, that's why I, I stick to seven. So seven o'clock. <laughs> I just heard, do you know where your children are? I don't know. I don't know. Like if y'all got some kids, y'all might want to check up on y'all kids and see where they at. Now, so seven of diamonds is the card of uh, if you want anything material in life, you have to go through the spiritual first. So this is what we're doing. And that's why I said buy one, get one, because I want to take advantage of the energy that we have. This is how you ride the wave of life. You know something? That's This is just like, I watch the weather channel. It says it's raining. I, I grab my umbrella. This is the same shit. It's the same shit. Gee, I know it's a moon in Capricorn. Let me get my, let me start organizing my books. Let me start let me start getting down to business and doing the task that I've been avoiding. Don't just say it's a moon in Capricorn. Oh. Oh, it's a moon. In Ca oh. No. So anyway. Now, um if for those who don't know how ancestor money works, this is how it works. Oh. She needs to know this. Hold on. Let me see if cuz I had this conversation with her in person. Oh, hey, Flo. I was like, where she at? Let's explain. To Can I have some water? This is Ancestor Money. I don't know who that is. Somebody's name is on that. Um, this is Ancestor Money, right? For those who know how... Uh, for those who know how Ancestor Money work, please... Mention in the comments how it has affected your life. Everybody in here is more than half of people that's always been uh, supporting the ancestor money. Everything that I provide through Flores Closet, I have mastered. Okay. Oh, yes. No problem, boo. And you got to get your dream catcher. Yeah, I think one of yours is up there. You got to get your birthday present. So um, here we have is Emperor Jade, right? Emperor Jade is the deity behind all money on earth. There is all sorts of ancestor money out there. 
with with Africans on it, with with natives on it. Listen, if you're gonna get your own, you could get you could do whatever you want. You could do whatever you want. But I'm gonna tell you why I chose Emperor Jade. Emperor Jade guards all the money on earth before it hits the bank. I don't care what he look like. You see him? He's Asian. I don't care what he look like. If this is your job, let me pay you directly. That's how I look at it. Now, uh, the Asian community, which is actually the world's superpower and it's not America. On paper, it's America, but it's not. So the Asian community understands this heavy. When someone passes, they burn it at the gravesite, right? See? So when someone dies and they die either tragic or they die, sorry, I think I got that white thing right there. I don't want that to be there. All right. If somebody uh, dies tragic or they die with karma unfinished, it moves on to the next of kin. And obviously, there's a lot of us without spiritual education, right? So without spiritual education, you cannot break these curses, okay? Now, it keeps moving on to the next of kin, right? I met a lineage of women who boyfriends kept killing the mother. Like, happened three times. I'm like, nah, I gotta help them. Um, they gotta come back. I feel like I did. I feel like I, feel like, I, feel like I did what I was supposed to do. Yeah, but anyway, um, basically, this is paying money off to relieve them of the karma that they didn't finish so when this happens just like loyalty you um for example bite don't bite the hen that feeds you right if you are the only one in your family which i'm pretty sure you are burning ancestor money either by yourself or through me this means that you are the brand ambassador spiritually for your family meaning they come to your beck and aid before everybody else's why because you make sure they're good. They always say honor the dead. This is not an evil thing to do. There is multi dimensions of planes living on top of each other. We are on the third. The fourth, the fourth is kind of trapped souls. Thank you. The fourth is where um people that don't want to leave here and uh dis disoriented spirits, right? Uh people that don't want to live leave here, um, suicides, uh, people that don't walk into the light, uh People that really just don't want to let go, right? They are in the fourth dimension. The yes, baby. What's up? What's okay, I got you. Okay. So um the fifth dimension is uh uh it's the it's the higher plane. Uh your higher self lives here, okay? Uh what else? This the seventh is obviously heaven. You you get it? It's don't let these religious people and their indoctrinated selves confuse you and leave you blindsided. We all probably seen ghosts before. We all knew that it was something. So what is that? So what is that? You understand? So we all have to understand that there is a plane that is there. Hold on, I, I, let me read this. I started with my beautiful Falora three years ago. Ancestor money aside from her baths and oils restored me and saved me in so many ways. Falora is very divinely blessed as we all are. <laughs> Thank you. And Jackie has bought everything of mine. Everything. Everything. However, Falora's gifts are from an ancient ancestral Haitian lineage that has been brought to her. So run to your ancestor money tonight. Oh, yeah, exactly. So, oh, for those who don't know me that well, I'm going to keep saying grand. I'm clear audience so I can hear spirit. I can't, I see spirit internally, like they give me visions, but I purposely told them, don't let me see shit. I quit. If you, if I see a, a, a motherfucker walking into, done. Also, you are allowed to have spiritual boundaries. Let your spiritual team know what the fuck is up. Let, cause, cause. When you don't have a body anymore, you're not that considerate. Not considerate at all. Like, you don't have feelings. Think about it. So sometimes it can be, like, harsh, too much. So you got to let these motherfuckers... Oops, sorry. Sorry. You got to let you gotta let your team know sometimes to chill out. So that was my moment. When I started I was like, no! And that's how I turned that off. You're allowed to. Like, God will only give you what you can handle. Okay? Okay, so I've been doing ancestor money uh, for years. 
I started again with this batch. Like this is, I'm running low. But um, I started with this batch again. I got lost. Like I, the company, the this, like I really got lost and I forgot what I used to do. This saved me. The baths, this, what else? The readings was the first thing I developed after numerology. The readings came to me like I had a deck of playing cards, you know, and I would. um, All right. I had a deck of playing cards. My my the pe the people who's not supposed to be doing this shit to me was doing certain shit to me, uh, throwing shit on me and shit. And by them throwing things on me, they activated my gifts. Just like when um they gave us lockdown and then it activated everybody and then we went we went butt, butt shit crazy. That's what happened to me. So they activated me and then things started happening and I found like the cards came to me. That's when numbers happened. The cards came to me through a friend. Shout out to Marvin. Um, and I started reading what the cards meant online. I didn't know what they meant. And then it it kept warning me like unscrumptious woman doing this, doing that. And everything was true. It really happened. But by the time I realized that it was way too late, way too late. Then I was like, nah, I got to keep this. Like I got to use this in my life. So everything, everything that we're doing here, I really, I'm 10 tails down on it. I cannot provide something for you and I'm insecure about it. Y'all know confidence is my main superpower. I cannot be insecure about something. I'd rather keep quiet. <laughs> Why you didn't say anything? Because I don't know if I have a stance on it. If I can. Like, I I just got here. Like, I have to be confident in things. Right? So, boom. We're about to start the weekly. Which I'm very excited. Uh, keep in mind, buy one, get one. Ancestor um, offerings. So, you'll get two for the price of one. You could put your name on it. Or you could only put... Um, your departed loved ones of your lineage, of your bloodline, do not put somebody else's bloodline in this. You don't have that permission. You don't want to do that. Okay? Now, truth book, which is you can ask me a yes or no question in your head, and I answer it via the truth book for $5.55. A pull from Mars. He looks tired, but a pull from Mars. Uh, we could start it off with donations. Like, I'm not going to put a price on it yet. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Right, baby? I don't know. But a pull from Mars, donation base, roll call, one minute, $15, two minutes, $25, three minutes, $35. Roll calls are high intensity, high speed readings. So you want to record me. You actually want to record. Do what you need to do. Okay. Do what you need to do. If you were smart, you, you would be recording this because you know there's no playbacks available. Weeklies are $45 if you want your own personal weekly and as well charms for $13.13. That's what I have available for you. If you ever want me to repeat the specials, just let me know and I will repeat it. Who are we working with? Yeah. Um, yeah, so for those who's new, you're going you're gonna to hear me talking to myself, but I'm not talking to me. I'm talking to Grant. My great-grandmother, who was a, um, she was, she was a priestess in Haiti. Of course. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> this is going to be fun. This deck is from the farm. I found it in the farm. And they was throwing out. They was throwing all this stuff out. And I was like. I want this. Y'all don't want no tarot cards. Oh, yes. Um. So for the weekly, it's 45. And the ancestor money, buy one, get one is $7.77. I could do the math for you real quick now that my, my brick of a phone is working. All right, 52.77. Now, all right, this, we gonna, we gonna let, mm, I need photos. Oh, okay, I need this. I'm about to start. I need my cardiology. I hope, I hope a cardiologist of course, go to the link in bio and then you could join. Um, boop, 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 boop. Yeah, I think that's smart. All right. All right. So, oh, tell Tia this for me because I don't know where she is. Tia has a, um, it's a new month. Uh, I'm giving her an oracle poll for tonight if she wants to claim it. 
but I'm going to give her an oracle pool for the month for her. Um, you know, that's I'm giving y'all tr treats and stuff. So when y'all sign up to my Patreon, y'all going to get little bits and stuff. So, um, boom. Next month, Najee, I'm going to give you an oracle pool. The reason doing so is because I don't know why the internet is so against me. All I want to do is save my stuff. Like, Patreon been giving me hell for a year. I thought I figured it out. He, he well behaved now. Yeah, I haven't seen his ass. His name is Mars. He act like it. But he's being cute now. Yeah, I don't mind it. So, um, boom. No, we're not starting with this. We need photos. I want that. I want that. Oh, my God. Yo, y'all don't want to go nowhere. <laughs> I think I'm spoiling y'all today. That's what it look like. Okay, should we? Perfect. See? There he go. You drink stick. Oh, you drink stick. <laughs> Will do. Perfect. You get... Where's my... Okay. Can you send me the names that you want? So, you can send me what I suggest. Because I think it's your first time with us. Send me your uh, first and last name. And then send me the... You could do two for just you. Or you can give me somebody in your lineage. Now, you are going to see the shift. As soon as you... Oh, wow. Okay, Monique. Okay. Wait. I just realized. Okay. Okay. Oh, y'all come... Oh, oh, oh. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Not wait, but wait a minute. I gotta write this down. I'm going to have you pull a card since you want to be up. All right. So we have Cheryl. Definitely, definitely, definitely spell your name because I butchered it. <laughs> it looked like Shirley. <laughs> Sorry. But definitely spell your name, Cheryl. Um, ancestor. You got Monique. Anybody who sins, please let me know. I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. <laughs> Send my name and one. Yes. Because um, for those of you who's new, it's like, yeah, like, you know, show that love. Last name. Hold on. Hold on. So far... Because mad shit just came up. And I'm not, I would not dare miss nobody. I got my notes now. Cheryl was number one. That's the first one I've seen. Cheryl, please let me know the names that you want to choose. Kelly, didn't I see your name? Two. Monique is the second name. And then I got lost from there, child. <laughs> A, B. Now, who else sent? <laughs> I think I've seen two names that I'm not... Okay, just you. Um. Oh, I spelled it right, Cheryl. Yeah, Cheryl. I sent for... Okay, three. Yeah, I see it, yeah. Right. A, B. Which name you want to use? It's in the cash app, but I ran out of space. Oh, okay. Uh, you might want to send it here for me. Because if I leave, it might fuck up. Sent for weekly and ancestor money. Okay. Uh, tell me the names you want. Oh, no. I think you just did that. <laughs> Right? N-A-J-Y. Send me your last name. And Monique. Top dog. Girl, well, I was going to ask you your last name like it's not in your thing. Uh, Cheryl, your last name is Bowers? Because I see it. It's Bowers, right? Uh, confirm for me. Tolbert. Tolbert. Okay. So, so far, everyone, I got Cheryl... I got Monique, I got Yasmin, I got Najee. Am I missing anyone? Okay. 
I don't, that's dope. Have, they showed it to me as soon as I wrote your name down. I didn't trust them. And that's, all right. I what? I, blah, 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 sorry. I write weekly messages to myself. And this week, my message is don't second guess myself. And I just did that. <laughs> I just failed. But y'all should do that. Like, this week, you know what I mean? Okay. Okay. Anybody else? I'm I'm writing this all down, so we we ain't getting it fucked up here. You know, we gotta make sure we're good. You, you want both your names. Cheryl wants both. You don't have a um. You want both ancestor monies going to you, right, Cheryl? And then Yasmin, I'm still waiting on your names. Oh no, sorry, sorry. You got it. I I see you. Do y'all know, um, this one slept at my altar and I'm really trying to figure out how you do that without knocking anything over. Like my candles there. That's crazy. I'm like, nah, this cat is, they sent this cat for me. So I pick my hair. I got this annoying thing. I pick my hair and then like, I definitely pull out my hair. And every time I, I pick my hair, he like attacks me. <laughs> he be like, scratch the shit out of my neck. So, ancestors hate when I pick my hair, but that's my... Oh, happy birthday, Dad. Which one? Let me see, William. Is it William or is it John Stun? I'm guessing it's William because y'all got the same last name. Um, I want to know so I can make sure I say happy birthday. Uh, Najee. Yes, he was sent to you. I felt... Yo. And yo. Yeah, you be tapping. You be tapping in. I like that about you, Monique. You tap all right. Brooklyn taps into me. Monique taps into me. And I mean like certain things like y'all all tap into me. But it's like y'all do certain things, y'all say certain things right then and there that is like, oh, I ignored that from spirit and you just said it. So now I really gotta, you know? <laughs> so yeah, y'all be tapped in. I see, I hear ringing in my ears. Now she let me know your your people's. Monique, I said, when I was burning the ancestor money, I said, I see a white cat. We saw this cat already. Oh, my baby. Y'all should see how cute he look. He look like this. He's such my baby. You okay? Yeah, he knocked. Can I do both for me? Of course. Ain't nothing wrong with that. All right. Am I right? Cheryl, Monique, Yasmin, Najee. If I'm missing anybody, don't hesitate. Yeah, they keep showing me this. I'm gonna. So shout outs to Andy. Let me. Let me send Andy this. So Andy is the creator of this deck. Andy Tordado. You okay? Oh, keep playing with the shrink. Andy is the creator of this deck. It's called the Fountain Tarot. I'm gonna. They showed it to me, so I'm gonna use it. Um, I just invited Andy. She sent me this deck. She sent me a couple decks, and that was really nice of her. Um, that was my first gift from anyone, and it was from a creator of a deck. I was just like, I got to keep this going. <laughs> like, I was like, wow. But, yo, y'all support really helps me go because I could barely pay myself. I'm going to be honest. So, ooh, too much sauce. Look at this. Look at this. Underneath it all. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. What you got? What you doing? What you doing? You out here making money. Ooh. I like that. All right. So for the week ahead, underneath it all, what's pushing you forward is you receiving funds. You receiving material support. You feeling, um, now I'm not going to say taken care of, but all your needs is met. You know, it's a fine line between I'm taken care of and then it's 
my needs are met. You're like in the middle of that. Does that make sense? I'm not going to call you like, uh, uh, but it's like your needs are met. Like you look good. You, okay. Somebody could be communic. Okay. Somebody want to give you an opportunity. Oh my God. There is mad messages. Hold on. Somebody's friend is in love with them. I think they might say it this week. That's one storyline. Another storyline is somebody rushing in to communicate about money, but it's in a form of I'm giving it to you, right? I see air signs and I see earth signs. Let's see what the week is. What are we in? Sunday. Let's start. Should we start Monday? Let's start Monday. Monday, tomorrow's energy for the collective. If this doesn't resonate... Kicking ass and taking names, collective. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Some of y'all is traveling. You could be traveling. Something. Your car works just fine if you needed to know that. Your car works just fine or you just got your car off the shop or you're looking at cars. I can see you looking at cars. Okay. You're looking at cars. Okay. You too tired to pick a car. All right, Monday. The hermit in reverse. I'm coming out. I want the world to know. Got to let it show. I'm coming. So you've been in hermit. Hermer. You've been. You've been in hermit mode for some time. I, I told you, Libra season. Go out there. Um, you've been in hermit mode for some time. Staying to yourself. Just not really feeling bothered. Others of you. Uh. You're lacking information. Could be dealing with a Virgo that's leaving your life. Or you are that Virgo that's leaving someone's life. But there's an element of the hermit in reverse. So this is going ghost and coming back again. Like where you come from? Let's see what this is for real. Take, take what you need and leave the rest. Whatever your story is, that's your story. But um, somebody doesn't have enough information on something. Told you. Six of clubs. The messenger card. Somebody thinks they know some shit and they do not. Period. I felt it. Um, you know what this gives me? It's like a wannabe hermit. It's like, I'm a wannabe guru. I'm a wannabe spiritualist. And I don't know if this person speaks to you or... Uh, hold on. Hey, Nadira. Uh, uh, that's a Nadira. Who the fuck is that? Amira. I know a Nadira, but wow. That's Marvin's friend. Haven't seen her in years. I don't know why that happened. Said it mad confidently. Hey, Nadira. I'll probably see her. All right. Seven of Swords. Let me tell you something. Y'all watch me. So there's an element of you woke, right? I don't know if you, if if this oozes off you. I don't know if people can tell this off you. I don't know if you just be at work kicking game. Or if this is not spiritual knowledge, this is just like you being very brainy and nerdy in a good way. I like nerds. So I'm a nerd. So that's, you know, smart. Like, But somebody, I feel like there's an energy of somebody trying to get away. Oh, that's deep. Somebody's trying to get away with not telling you something. That's that's or this is you. Uh, Six of Clubs is getting a, a message that you always needed. Like there's a message that comes through and it balances the situation. But this message, what is this message? Because the hermit in reverse, it's like the person who's giving the message don't know what they're talking about. And then with the seven of swords, with the nine of swords. No, with the king of coins in reverse. Child, you came up upright. Why this king of coins is in reverse? Know it all. They want to seem bigger than you. This so we all going through this? Okay. The hermit in reverse with the six of clubs. Unexpected money in reverse. So it's not unexpected. This is money that you knew you was getting. You didn't have information about it. Okay. Unexpected money, you get a message about money that is expected. But the person that's telling you don't know what they're talking about. Or they disappeared and reappeared. Like, 
let's say somebody, maybe somebody owes you and they disappeared and reappeared. Maybe because they was going through it. That could be something. But other than that, you can't think when you're emotional. Thank you. You can't think when you're emotional. So somebody is an emotional here and they're delivering a message or they're saying something and they don't know what they're talking about. I, I, moving on. Uh, so we have Tuesday's energy. Oh, this. All right. Crypto money. This could be about money, like money management. I just heard signing checks. Oh, nine of cups underneath. Okay. You're happy. Somebody's happy. Underneath it all, you're happy. Okay, we're going to figure this out. Tuesday. Whoa. A lot of nice cards, too. There go your car. Somebody's getting a new car. And they're going to come out of the five of coins in reverse. They're going to come out of that lack feeling. Okay, he's picking a card. Let's see what he picks. Y'all see his little Paul? Let's see what he picks. This is the card for Tuesday. Because I feel like, yeah. Three of coins in reverse. You're not willing to work together. Okay. You just threw that in there. Hold on. Somebody's getting a new card. Point blank period. It's going to take you out of feeling like you can't go nowhere. Feeling like you got, you know, that lack feeling. You get a car. Or you get money from a car. Maybe a car accident. This is money you've been waiting for. You didn't know. You didn't have the information. You was left in the dark about money owed to you from insurance. The car. You were sad. Okay. Ooh. All right. Now, I'm going to leave that just there. Because it's 10 of cards. Wow. Yo, we happy. Okay, it's a good week. So, can I know? can I know why? All right. This is either Tuesday, this is either a group setting breaking apart. This is somebody that is in a third party situation. So a dude or a girl, a dude or a woman that's in a relationship and they got a side person. The side person leaves on Tuesday. That's somebody's story. Another story is there is no group effort here. You're supposed to be working in this group and y'all not coming together. And y'all, I don't know what group this is. Uh, at work, yeah, work. Creativity or work. There is disharmony in a group. Maybe somebody leaves because that's the, that's the only way I see it. Three of coins in reverse. There's a situation not... Somebody leaves. I, peace out. I put my two weeks in. Somebody leaves. Like I said, nine of clubs. Nines are ending. Somebody says that it's over. I'm not happy here. I don't want to be at this work setting. This is with a group of people. I, I'm out. Somebody's not doing this. I just heard, I, just, I can't take it anymore, baby. Shout out to Case. Somebody can't take it anymore. Theft. Wow. Oh. Yeah. If this is a work situation, if this is a group work setting, whatever, somebody takes some shit. They leave, they quit, they take some shit. Or they wasn't supposed to leave. Like, let's say they don't put their two weeks in. They just did. It's theft because it's like, now nah, you're still in time, if that makes sense. You said you was going to be here, and now you just dip, and you just stole time from us. So that could be that. Success and love. Oh, somebody got their head in the clouds. Oh. So this doesn't have to be your story, but I get a situation where somebody is really happy in their relationship and they go into a work situation or they go into a group situation and they're so unhappy in this situation. And somebody's like, yo, I got a wife at home. Fuck this shit. Yo, I got a man that could take it. Fuck. So that's that energy. That's somebody's story out there. Let's see the, the let's see more stories. Tuesday, three of short illness in reverse. Oh, oh, short illness in reverse, meaning somebody is excited. Somebody couldn't wait to get out of this shit. Whatever this shit is, third party love triangle, a weird work situation. I just heard neighborhood. I just heard gang. I just, oh, sports, um, athletes, gamblers, 
Bowling? Okay. Now they showing me animals. Zookeeper. Wow. Okay. This is what's this is somebody doesn't expect this. This is this is this is like a tower moment. Like, whoa. What's up? You out? You leaving? Yeah, man. Yeah, because success and love. Oh, it went away. All right, now I get it. Okay. That's Tuesday's energy. Somebody had it. I can't take it anymore, baby. That's what I hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two of Cups. Look. Look. There's a relationship popping up. I don't know for who. I don't know for what. You tell me. This could be a friend that you really see eye to eye with. Like, yeah, this is a good friend. Maybe there's a good friend. There's a work setting. You got one good friend. You love that friend. That's a good friend. Everybody else could kick rocks. That's what I heard. Um, Wednesday. What is Wednesday's energy? Wednesday. Queen of Cups. Like I said, if you are the person that leads a third party or if you are the person that leads a group situation, the next day, you are Gucci. You are so good. Like... You are nurturing yourself. Like, you're happier. You're a happier person removing yourself out of this situation. And I just heard toxic situation. So you... Yeah. All right. Okay, this is an intuitive message. The reason why you left this situation because you stopped giving to yourself. You stopped nurturing yourself. You stopped caring about your needs. You put other needs before yours. Other people's needs before yours. And you really got wrapped up. Hi, Eli. You really got wrapped up at this job situation. So you kind of lost yourself, basically. So you you put the job before you. I just walked away from my girlfriend. Wow. Yeah. You you basically it's just like I'm I can't give to this anymore. Like this is uh walking away from a relationship. This is not working together. I do not want to build anymore. Stop building. I ain't building with this with you, right? Show illness in reverse. I ain't sick about it. I ain't stressed about it. Like, I'm good. Like, this is that. I'm, I'm good off you. I'm good. I've been getting wrapped up at work. Oh, oh, I was talking to you with that one good friend. You're right. Wow. She cut off all communication. She sure did with the nine of clubs. Nines are ending. Clubs is thinking, speaking, communication, right? That's something you did not expect. Whatever this ending is, it threw someone off. One person was like, you be all right. <laughs> the other person is just like, I'm losing my shit here, okay? Pick your story. The next day, I'm reading for you, right? So the next day, it seems like you are good. If it's not you, this is a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. But Queen of Cups, you are finally able to give to yourself now. Congratulations. Yay. You have an overflow of, uh, 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 what you call this? You have an overflow of abundance. You can now give to people. There's an energy of now that I'm not putting my time and energy here, I got a lot to give. Now you got a lot to give, but you you not trying to put people in it. This is this is all about you right now. And I'm proud of you because there's a lot of people that never wake up from from some people don't know how to leave a situation. And that's the most dangerous thing. You waste all you don't get this, you don't get we don't we don't get six o'clock uh back from today. Six PM today. It's gone. Like, so now you have the time. Queen of... Sp I know that's right. The queen of all queens. Queen of spade. Yes. I'm a queen of spade. So it's queen of spade is the healer. Look at you healing yourself. You're taking spiritual baths. Oh. By Wednesday, I see y'all taking a bath. Y'all need it. So especially if you... You know that's how you cut cords, right? Y'all understand that? This is how you cut cords. Um, for example, you just been through a relationship that was shitty. You don't sit there and just be like, I break up. Hey, Tatiana, I break up. I'm good. Energetic chords, especially when somebody still want to be with you. That's a chord. And that keeps people away from you. So you want to cut chords. Like, especially like for my sexually active people, y'all need to be taking baths after. What's wrong with y'all? You want to carry that around? Oh, you nasty. Anyway, six of hearts. Peacemaker. 
See, you coming up very nice. See, that's crazy. You coming up, you ever since you left this shit, what if this is a job or relationship, you come up more nicer, more loving. Like you come up like you the shoulder, like you, you, you so watery, feminine, like, uh, like mother. I don't know. I wish I could feel what I feel, but like, you know, when you feel good around someone, that's how you feel, but nobody's around you. You just got this good old energy to yourself, which is dope. This is Wednesday's energy. Remember, everybody got this to play out in different days. This is timeless. So your Tuesday could be Friday for somebody else. Queen of Cups. Yeah, you took your power back. You turned, yeah, Queen of Spades looking that way. So you're looking towards the future. Whatever you left, you, you do not feel bad about it. You do not want no parts of it. You're done. Queen of Cups. Rich, good gentleman. Oh, child. In reverse. So a lot of people in here, either a boss or a lover, you left a rich, good gentleman in reverse. So he's opposite of a rich, good gentleman. He's broke, bad, and and bad. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. He's, he's broke, bad, and a fuckboy. Yeah, rich, this is a fuckboy. I don't know why I was trying to do that. This is a fuckboy. So you left a fuckboy. You, 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 you made peace with that. Good for you. Now, Thursday's energy or or a job. Thursday's energy. Damn. Hmm. All right. So you got the nine of coins in reverse. Before I talk my shit. Something's oh something. All right. Action towards you has stopped or you stopped taking action because you don't feel secure. Or this is somebody feeling this way about you. Somebody doesn't feel secure enough to approach you. Or you don't feel secure. Jack of spade. Uh-oh. You don't feel secure enough to approach a situation. It blends. Knight of... Knight of... I don't like this. I don't, I don't get why you have this. Uh, are you paying for something? You're paying to stop something? What is this? Oh my god. Is Elisha still in here? There, there's, there's Elisha's card. That's interesting. Nah, that's too much. I don't like that. Nine. There we go. Yeah, somebody, I, can I take you out? I pay for it. <laughs> told you. Remember I told you in the, in the pre-messages that your friend likes you? Your friend likes you. It's showing up as I knew it would. But they don't feel comfortable enough to approach you because they feel like they don't got their shit together. Or it's because or it's they're not single. Either or. But this is somebody who has made sacrifices for you before. Think about it. Look at how he's eating the leaf. So I don't know if he's vegetarian, vegan, or he's into plants. Oh, he's into plants. This is Drake's birth card. You know how Drake is with the wanting and dying and other ladies. You know how he is with the swooning. So this is that energy. Like, I want to swoon you. I want to wine and dine you. But they're not. I'm gaining a lot of money. Oh, you know what I stopped using? I stopped using this. What is this, spirit? Mars knocked out. What is this, spirit? What is this, spirit? It's a king of wands. Look how... Ooh, he want to be with you. All right, look. All right. First of all, for my fellas that's here, you know how to... Tr Don't be immature. This will be you. You, you, I'm talking about you. When I say man or girl, I'm just used to talking to women. But when, when a man shows up, that means that represents you. When a woman shows up, or it's a masculine woman, all right? Divine feminine, there's a man with a big wand. You see, look how big that wand, bro. In tarot, the wand is never that fat. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. John with the long schlong, uh, uh, grandma just said. So, 
Four of Wands. Is this a celebration? There's an event this week. Y'all going? Okay. Something is. What is this? All right. Let me break this down. I'm sorry, y'all. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Energy. If it is a person, that's their sign. If it's not their sign, and you're like, that's not their sign. It doesn't have to be. It's the energy they're in. They're in a fiery energy. They're in an energy of taking action. They're in, en they're in sexual energy, too. I told you about this big schlong. They're in sexual energy as well. King of Wands out of all the kings is the one that's like the ladies' man. Everybody wants him. He can get anybody he wants. This is that type of energy that's showing up. Authoritative, uh, leader, visionary. They, 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 they see, they know how to see the future in terms of, oh, in 10 years, I'm going to have this. In five years, I'm going to have that. This is that type of, and he goes and he gets it. Now, I don't know if this person is leaving a relationship or they want to be in a relationship with you. Or you are in a relationship as a man and or you want to be in a relationship with someone but there is action not taken there's something not growing and then you have gaining a lot of money so that confused me because nine of coins is a stable person in reverses i'm not stable so did you get money or not <laughs> this is what i'm trying to figure out like what basically i can't move forward Oh, I can't move forward until I'm gain until I gain okay. Okay. I can't move forward until I have money, basically. Somebody wants to be with you. They cannot move forward until they have money. I don't know how to that's just what it is, right? Now, I've been picking up a friend energy. Like there's a friend. Now I'm hearing it again. Oh, you say I'm just a friend. All right, so you say this person is just a friend. But they are always available for you. Jack of hearts. They always make sacrifices for you. There's a friend that's around you. And you just be overlooking that, that mofo. You just be like. Hey you over there. Like you just do not see this person honey. You just like. <laughs> Yo the vision in my head is mad funny. It's like I do. You like move this person out the way type shit. And he got like flowers and stuff. Like you are not paying attention to this person. But whatever. They can't approach you yet until they got some funds. That's what it's seen. Other storyline is. I don't know if you gain money then spend it on Thursday. But something says you need to stop. And then they oh you spend money on home things. Uh, and some of y'all spend money on a man. But like I said, there's this weird energy financially right here. What is it? Do you have it or not? I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I'm confused. It's like contradicting this stuff.